Welcome to Real Estate Coaching Radio, America's number one trusted resource for realtors who demand authentic, real-time coaching. Starring award-winning real estate coaches Tim and Julie Harris. Get ready for unfiltered, full-strength honesty about what is truly working to get you into action and make you money in this new real estate boom. Now to our hosts, Tim and Julie Harris. And we'll, we are back. Welcome back to Real Estate Coaching Radio. We are your host, Tim and Julie Harris. The title of today's show is Make Money, Not Excuses. Make Money, Not Excuses. We're going through all of the normal things that folks think about, that agents think about, that they use maybe subconsciously to prevent them from becoming more successful. We hear it all the time. You guys may even say some of these things to yourselves. Oh, my gosh, he made a million dollars. Imagine the taxi, taxes he has to pay. Oh my gosh, look how successful they are. They must have no life. I mean, all these types of little excuses that we throw out there, and that's really all they are. They're just basically making excuses for not living up to your truest potential, not actually adopting, embracing the mindset of service. So guys, here's the, here's the, sh- the shift for you, is when you realize that if you don't yet have the things in life that you want to have, the experiences that you want to have, the lifestyle that you want to have, the money in the bank that you want to have, really the sense of freedom that you want to have. It's simply because you have yet to accept, embrace the fact that the more money, the more success, the more freedom, there's a direct correlation between that and the number of people you serve. So if you realize that your highest and truest purpose is to be of service to folks and the higher and the better service that you provide to the most people, the more money you're going to make. It's really that simple. So when you are thinking about these excuses or in, if you're willing to confront the fact that you or yourself an ex- are an excuse maker, in many cases that's true with all of you guys, if you're willing to say, okay, I will admit that based on yesterday's radio show and today's radio show, I am one of these agents that's making excuses, throwing up my own roadblocks to success. And maybe at that very moment when you're having that little epiphany, you're, real, you're realizing that you're holding yourself back individually, but you're also holding your family back. You're also holding maybe your grandchildren back. You're holding the folks that you could be helping back simply because of the fact that you've been willing to accept your own and maybe even believe your own excuses. So the radio show, again, yesterday and today, are there, the real intent is for us to help you be introspective so you can kind of root out your own things that are holding you back and you can set yourself free. Guys, there is no doubt, and all of you should be 100% convinced at this point, and we've been saying this for now three years, that we are in the very beginning stages of what's going to be a long-term real estate boom. And by a long term, I mean 10 years. In some markets, it's going to last even longer. The fact is, is that this is going to be the greatest real estate market, heck, it already is, of our lifetimes. We have talked in other radio shows as to, as to why what we're saying is true, but the bottom line is, is it is true. And all of you should be very convinced of that now. There's not going to be another colossal crash in any time, probably in the rest of our real estate careers. This is going to be your opportunity. A lot of you, you know, it's funny, you hear people when they're, again, they're saying, well, you know, so-and-so is successful because they're in the right place at the right time, and if I were only given that similar opportunity, I too would be successful. Well, what if the right place at the right time is right now, and you are given the same opportunity that you think you've been passed up for your entire life, or at least you've never been given a full opportunity to embrace? This is your right place. This is your right time, and now it's really critical that you don't allow yourself, your mindset, to hold you back. So, Julie, welcome to today's radio show. Yes, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. And I had a little coaching snippet pop to mind when you were talking about this excuse-making thing that some of these agents do. And I, you know, you were talking about how, you know, sometimes they get stressed out because they're doing so much business. But then, if you did less business, doesn't that create stress? And I, you know, a lot of our guys go through this, and they do get criticism from their realtor colleagues. You know, you must be sacrificing your family life. You must be sacrificing time and all these things. And uh, I had a quick story from one of my coaching clients. Then, you know, she's on track to do over 50 million in volume this year. Went to a realtor function, and some agent copped a little attitude and said, "Well, gosh, you know, that's great, but I'm sure that uh, you're sacrificing time with your little kids." And she said, well, in fact, since I've systematized and automated, I've been able to go to all of their major functions. They're both into sports. And in fact, I don't miss the important things with my kids. And furthermore, the reason that I work this hard and am on track to meet or exceed my goal is exactly for my kids. But thanks for asking. 
And I was just so right. proud of her for having that answer, and I was kind of mortified that some agent had kind of the audacity to go after her in well, that way. You know, but I thought she had a great answer, so I just wanted to share that. Well, you are you are throwing on your protective mother hen, uh, Coach uh, Mike. <laughs> exactly. I wanted to beat him up, but, pound him. Right. But, How dare but they? Julie, here, here's the thing that's interesting. So what you're saying is the exact opposite is true. The working, the more working actually gets uh, the more freedom, right? Yeah. Because it's it not buys it, you the it, freedom. Mm-hmm. It does, literally, quite literally, it buys you the freedom. And it's not just work in general. It's just not filling your days. It's basically having focused work, following a schedule. A lot of the things that those of you who are involved in our coaching programs, you're learning to adapt. Again, listen to the previous radio shows, guys. If you, Even if you're not coaching clients, you'll get an idea of, you know, I think a real straight, not just an idea, but a path that you need to be following or should be considering following that will get you to where you want to be. So what if it is, what if your mindset about uh, success, about making money, what if it's everything you think is literally the exact opposite of what the truth is? What if the successful person with a lot of money, with a lot of listings, with a lot of, you know, whatever, whatever, what if they're actually working less than you? That's really kind of an interesting thought, isn't it? Because it's true. For the most part, they're not doing the 14,000 things that you have to do during the course of the day. They're just usually doing three to five things at a really high level every single day. So, Julie, we left off at point number eight. So, yes. dear. Okay, perfect. So, stick to your focus. We talk about this a lot. Focus stands for follow one course until successful. Be the best at the things that make you money in real estate. Don't dabble or sample. We see this a lot. You guys go to what we lovingly call pretty shiny things. Somebody email bombs you the latest greatest, and now I'm going to go try that for a while. And then tomorrow somebody else says, you know what, you don't need to do that. You do this, and you go sample that. So the dabblers and the samplers in this business absolutely make less money, less efficiently if they're making an income at all versus the agents who stick to their focus, follow one course until successful. And the example I always use, Tim, and I think you touched on this yesterday, was agents will say, you know, I tried FISBOs, you know, that doesn't work. Well, really, how many did you try? Well, I called one once, or I went to an open house. That's not focused. That's just dabbling. It's sampling. It's trying something out. If you're going to pursue a new spoke, a new avenue of business, whether it be unrepresented sellers or anything else, because there are lots of lead generators out there, decide that you're not just trying it out. The second you say you're trying it out, you failed. Trying something out leaves the, the space open that it's not going to work. Decide it will work. Follow your focus. Follow that course until you're actually successful at that. And I would say even until you're the best at it. Why else would you do something? I just don't get that. Well, but the the fallacy of, that a lot of you guys will make is, you know, you won't fall, you won't be, you won't have focus, right? So you'll go from one thing to the next, and you'll never really master the first thing. Uh, there's an order in which the smartest agents build their businesses, and there's, you know, the spokes on the wheel analogy. A lot of our students are familiar with that at this point, where you're at, the goal is to have at least seven really strong lead generation sources. Now, it could be three, it could be eight, it could be 14, but the point is is you don't go from one spoke at your lead generation wheel to the next um, until the first one's really strong. Otherwise, you're just going to have a bunch of weak spokes. That's the mistake that most agents make. It's like you know, Julie picks uh, the example of working with for sale by owners, or as we love when we call them unrepresented owners. So if you're saying, well, I'm going to master that skill, well, let's define what mastery of a specific skill means, okay? So it means that you've taken a certain number of listings. It means that you've basically mastered the scripts, the objection handlers. It means that you've mastered your pre-listing pack. It means you've mastered your listing presentation. It means that you've mastered your ability to pre-qualify. It means you've mastered basically all the elements necessary to become a, a very effective at listing unrepresented owners. So if you have that mindset, and that's really, you know, you're going to follow one course until successful, and let's say you will uh, deem your FISBO um, spoke built after you've taken 20 FISBOs, okay? That's a nice goal. There's an idea for you. And then you're not going to bounce to something else until you've mastered that one. The problem is, is if you bounce around, again, you're never going to have mastery of anything. And that's how you end up being attracted to the gimmicks. I mean, yesterday we talked about schemes versus skills, right? Schemes versus skills. If you find yourself being attracted to schemes, things that work for a very short period of time that are supposed to solve all your problems, you won't make any money. You'll go broke. That's the reason that the number of agents that come and go in this business is basically all of them. You know, In four years, I think 90% of all the agents flush out. That's 
kind of incredible to think about. So guys, focus. Follow one course until successful. Build the right spokes in the right order, and then you'll have a very strong wheel. And then, you know, 20 years from now, um, you will be, without a doubt, wealthy. You'll be free. You'll be financially set off in some markets, depending on your sale price. It might only take five years. It might take three years. We've had coaching clients that have gone from zero, basically new or newish agents, to essentially having net worths of over a million dollars. We've had many agents do that in less than five years because they were understanding and accepting the idea of focus. Point number nine, Julie. Point number nine is to surround yourself with roses and eliminate roaches. What does that mean? Well, control your mind, your body, and your wallet. If you've got negative influences in any of those categories, simply remove them immediately. So again, surround yourself with roses. That means people and things that inspire you, that motivate you, not roaches. You, know, you guys all know what I'm talking about there. You know, they're creeping around, bugging you all the time, probably, you know, <laughs> just kind of icky people, icky things. Get rid of that. So surround yourself with people who promote you and support you and get rid of all of that stuff that brings you down. And I'm sure that each and every one of you can identify someone or something that should be eliminated. And if you're not sure, take those three categories, your mind. Okay, so are you polluting your mind by not following a media-free morning every morning? And the first thing you open is some negative news that brings you down and sets the tone for the day. Well, that's easy to fix, media-free morning. What about your body? If you've got some kind of, say, a donut addiction, and every, way, every day on the way to your office, you stop by and you keep on packing on the weight, and it makes you feel terrible, stop doing that. Put an end to it. That's a roach behavior, not a rose behavior. Your wallet, if every time you get a commission check, you spend all of it, and then you get a surprise tax bill, start having the discipline that we teach you in coaching to take 10% off the top for your savings, save about 20% for taxes, and then you get the rest. Not all of that money is your money. So if you don't have people supporting you in those categories, I don't know why you're hanging around with them. Some of you guys have these weird offices that, you know, you've got agents that never actually do much productivity, but then they go and try and get free coaching from you guys and sit in your office all day. They're sucking the well, life out of you. Stop doing that. <laughs> Julie, the juxtaposition, the juxtaposition, and if we're being honest, some of the people listening right now might be the roaches themselves, and they don't even realize yeah. they've become the roaches, right? They don't even realize it because you, you do split. Right. Well, you slip into it. And Julie just touched on a few examples, you know, not controlling those three elements of your life. It's easy to slip into that mode because what happens is when uh, you surround yourself without knowing it with people with similar, you know, people like to complain. I mean, when is the last time you talked about your health, especially if you have any health challenges to anybody? Well, I mean, chances are you're kind of a roach if you find yourself in that mode, truthfully. you know, If you made that your story. Yeah. Or whatever, whatever, right? I mean, you can go – when you have a, a visualization or you read a book, so some of you are going to be challenged because, well, I get it, Julie, and I get it, Tim. I want to essentially be surrounding myself with roses and not roaches, but, you know, how do I do it? Because I live in this environment. I live in this community. I, live, I work in this office. I have – you know, the folks around me are all kind of like the same negative mindset, the same negative mindset about, you know, success, life, health, Fairness, whatever, right? So how do I do it? Well, you're going to have to break out of it. It's going to be extra hard for you. Listening to our radio show every day is easy and it's free, right? You can read books. You can read biographies. Um, learn to think big by traveling to places that make you uncomfortable. Learn to think big by reading books about, biogra or, you know, again, biographies of folks that have created – I love Steve Jobs' books. Who doesn't, right? But there's a lot of other biographies in addition to that that are very motivational, very inspiring. So sure, some of you are going to be challenged because you're now realizing that maybe you're the person that actually is you know, essentially helping to hold other people back. You can break free of that. Just do it very slowly. Do it very methodically. By, you know, what helps the most is by starting by writing down a goal. Listen to past radio shows on how to go about goal setting. But setting a goal, Julie mentioned a really good one, a media-free morning. And then you can expand it to a media-free evening. And then immediate free life. That means that you only uh, literally will maybe check your email three or four times a day. You're not going to listen to the radio. You're not going to listen to the news. You're not going to listen to anything. I, Julie and I were out last weekend, and somebody, we were at a restaurant, and somebody was sitting, you know, it was a long table. We're there started asking us. We are starting talking about ISIS or something. I mean, I'm so out of the loop about all that stuff. I just don't care. It doesn't matter. 
it has nothing to do with my three-foot world. Again, a point from yesterday. And nor does it yours. But people are addicted to that stuff, aren't they? So what are the other things that the media ever feeds you, for example, that's positive? Well, nothing is the answer. So if you're finding your mindset is holding you back, the way you literally think about life is affecting you, and you're sort of maybe just touching on that, you feel what we're saying is true about you, start by purging yourself of all media. Literally, no more TV, no more, you know, you can watch HBO, but I mean no more news, no more websites that give you news, no more reading anything like that. And it will take you probably usually about a week. Uh, you, seriously do this. And after about six, seven days, you're going to start feeling differently. You'll go through a little withdrawal pains at first, quite literally withdrawal. You'll say, oh, my gosh, what's going on? Oh, my gosh, am I missing something? You'll actually feel that little urge for that little uh, almost uh, – it's almost like an, a caffeine hit of the latest breaking news. Well, as soon as you let that go, you get over the withdrawal symptoms, if you will, then you're going to start feeling free. Then your mind isn't going to be burdened with all this negativity. And then you're going to start getting the mindset of service, and then you can start doing things to be of service, and guess what follows? Lots and lots of opportunity, lots and lots of money. Next point, Julie. Exactly. So point number 10, automate and systematize so that you can handle your business more efficiently. Some examples of this. Consider hiring a transaction coordinator if you don't already have one. And I find that people start needing this when they've got somewhere around five to eight pendings at all times, or at least a good 90-day stretch of that. And then if you ask those agents, and many of you guys are entering into this or getting back to that, what's causing your stress? It's because you've got a lot going on at the same time, all with different deadlines and dates and negotiations and appraisals and inspections and all this stuff. And it's easy to get yourself demotivated telling yourself, again from yesterday, oh, I'm overwhelmed. Well, what if you had a really great transaction coordinator who actually loved organizing and taking care of that for you? How much more time would you have and how much more business would you do? The issue is a lot of you guys don't believe that there are great transaction coordinators out there. And yes, it's not every single one of them, but there are people in the world who actually TC better than you do. So there's a mindset shift there, right? So make sure you're using another example pre-qualification scripts. How much of your stress is caused by you showing endless properties to somebody who's never going to buy? Or a listing property that, yeah, the market's on the upswing and we're going to just price it at the hilt and then you sign yourself up if you get an offer at all for appraisal issues. So pre-qualify. Use real pre-qualification scripts that's part of automating and systematizing to get your time back and your sanity back. Do it every time, not just when you're nervous about somebody, not just in certain price ranges. So work to automate and systematize. Sometimes that's people, sometimes it's technology. A lot of you guys are doing things like you've paid for top producer for years but never figured out how to use it. That's a technology solution, but you're going to have to learn to use it. Some of you guys have TCs in your office, but you haven't trusted them because you believe that they can't do it as good as you can. And you might be right in some instances, but try them out and then you'll know. You know so automate and systematize. I like to go to tech first because it costs you less money and it's easier to fire. But sometimes that means hiring people as well. So buy your time back by creating systems. Point number 11, Tim? Point number 11 is implement today's points by executing your ideal daily schedule, adopting affirmations which will replace your thoughts of stress, and focus on the things that actually matter. You can handle more than you think. So, guys, as always on every radio show, we always want to remind you that we're here for you anytime. And I, just accept the fact that you are in the right place at the right time. Don't fight with it. Don't be a skeptic about it. Don't look for reasons to think that that's not true. Just say to yourself, okay, what if I am in the right place at the right time? So once you've accepted that thought, the next thing that's going to happen is probably a little bit of a feeling of stress because you're not going to know what to do. Well, we've made it easy for you. Request a free coaching call at freecoachingcallsforagents.com. Generally speaking, you can get your free coaching call the next day. Uh, with one of uh, We have, I think, 12 coaches now whose main job during the day is to do free coaching calls for you guys. It is really that simple. On the free coaching call, you're going to get a business plan. They're going to go through your numbers. You're going to know exactly where you are and where you need to be uh, in order to accomplish your goals. And when you request a free coaching call, we're also going to give you copies of our two free books that I'm looking at right now in my hands. One is called The Real Estate Treasure Map. Um, and the other is called Think and Grow Rich for Real Estate. Both are available on Amazon. But guess what? When you request the free coaching call, we'll give you the books for free. 
And as always, we want to thank our title sponsors, uh, Z Buyers, great source for all of you guys who are looking for turnkey buyer and seller leads. And of course, MojoSales.com, one of the, I think, most critical building blocks in your business. Obviously, we are strong believers in coaching, but beyond that, when you decide to get into action and build your initial spokes, then you're going to want to definitely use Mojo Sales because they put you in a position that you're going to essentially have a system behind you when you're doing some of the basic elements of building a long-term successful business. So, guys, it is absolutely our pleasure and our honor to be your coaches and some of you to be your future coaches. Thank you profoundly for making us the number one listen to real estate radio show. I mean, our focus is what? Agents. We don't talk about a lot of uh, things other than how can we be of service to you. How can you be of service to your clients? How can you actually position yourself to make the most of being in the right place at the right time? If you ever have any topic ideas or anything you want us to sh uh, discuss, feel free to email us directly. My direct email is tim at timandjulieharris.com. And if you want to check us out online, obviously go to timandjulieharris.com to grab your free coaching call, to schedule that, do that now, free coaching calls for agents.com. In the meantime, everyone, we'll talk with you on the radio tomorrow. Have a fantastic, productive, and a very intentful day. Thanks and have a fantastic day. This program has been a presentation by Tim and Julie Harris, Real Estate Coaching. For more information on our real estate coaching and training programs, visit our website at timandjulieharris.com. Remember to tune in weekdays at noon for upcoming shows. And until next time, thank you for listening to Real Estate Coaching Radio with Tim and Julie Harris.